Dig that funky monkey. Hey, what's up my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Generation Toy Gorilla. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Gorilla, his name is Gorilla, on this side of the box, Generation Toy, on their side of the box. Warning, please don't eat anything in this box, that could be very bad for you. Nothing on top, nothing on the bottom. On the back, you have a picture there of the robot mode. And when we remove the slip cover, you just have Generation Toy and a headshot there of the Gorilla. And on the other side, Generation Toy, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Gorilla, a.k.a. Optimus Primal, and um, yeah, I really dig this figure. This is a very, very cool figure, in my opinion. So here is Gorilla in his monkey mode, and yes, I'm going to call it a monkey for the rest of the video, because I know how mad it makes people when I call this a monkey. <laughs> Again. Yeah, go ahead, see if I care. <sighs> you in my house, remember that, you in my house. Anyway, let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Let's take a look at that head sculpt. Look at that monkey. Look at that handsome monkey right there. That's a beautiful, handsome monkey right there. Nice silver for the face, red for the eyes. You got some details picked out in silver right here on the side. You also got some gunmetal gray in there as well. You can open his mouth. You see some nice white teeth in there. Very cool. Even the back of his head has some details painted. And a nice gun metal gray going down the body to his big monkey pecs. Got that nice kind of a dull silver there. And some gold. And you got some nice metallic blue, some red, some more of that silver. Got the nice white and red again with some more of that gun metal gray. Here's big old Monkey Powell's done in silver. Just going down the arm, you got some red, some gold, some more of that silver, some more of that gunmetal gray. Some red, lots of nice detail here. The red and blue. And look at the back here. Got some nice details here picked out in gold and silver. The monkey butts right there. Good. Done in some nice gunmetal gray with some gold. Some more of that gunmetal gray going up the back. Just lots of nice detail going around with this figure. Quite, quite cool. Now articulation wise, the head can move up and down. Can do a full three. Can do a full 360. Do a full 360. There you go. Can do a full 360. As you saw, the mouth can open and close. Arms. Can do a full 360, can go in and out. You also have this shoulder joint here, which allows the arms to move forward, the shoulders to move forward, rather. Uh, you do have rotation at the elbow, as well as an elbow joint right here, which gives you over 90 degrees of bend there. Um, all the hand articulation will go into its robot mode, so this is going to be exactly the same. We're not going to waste time with that. This is where my tongue stops working. We're not going to waste time on that twice. Um, Nothing at the waist because everything pretty much gets locked in in monkey mode here. But the legs can move back. They can only move forward that far. You have quite a few joints to work with here. You got a joint here and a joint here. Both are on nice ratchets. And the feet, they can move up. They can move down. You get tiltage. Toes can move down due to transformation. On this toe right here, the, the, the toe thumb, the thumb toe, uh, is on two hinges, as well as a rotational joint right there. So it is a pretty poseable monkey mode. And for comparison, here it is with the masterpiece, Optimus Primal. Just so you can see how they scale together. Actually, let me get them standing up here, be a little bit more accurate about it. There we go. There he is with Masterpiece Optimus Primal. And here he is with the original Beast Wars Optimus Primal. Does that count as precious? Technically, is technically G1 Beast Wars precious? Is it precious? I'm gonna call it precious. It's pressure. 
pressures, monkey pressures. Monkey rage! Sorry, I haven't done that in a long time. I just, I just wanted to do that anyway. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include his two swords, which are very nicely done. The blue has that nice uh, sparkly, sparkly finish, which I quite like. You got some nice transparent plastic there on the hilt. Got gunmetal gray there for the handle. Nice silver for the blade. Um, you can technically store the swords on the monkey mode. There are just two tabs right back here and there are slots right here. Um, the storage is meant for robot mode, so it doesn't work perfectly in monkey mode because you can't, uh, they, they won't tab all the way in because there's not enough room for it, but they'll, they'll hold in well enough. So if you want to store the swords on monkey mode, you totally can, but again, there's not, <laughs> there's not too much holding it on because the storage is really meant for robot mode, but hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to. There are a couple other accessories, but we'll get to those when we get to robot mode. And speaking of robot mode, let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's oh, close your mouth, man. Close your mouth. So what are we going to do? Uh, we'll just start from the bottom and just work our way up. We'll do that. I think that's the best, the best course of action here. So we'll start off with the legs. So what you're going to do with the legs here is just straighten them out. Like so, you're going to come in here, you're going to take this section and just bring that out, flip out this panel, and bring that down to close up that gap. Once you do that, this panel right here is just going, going to push in like that. And once you do that, you want to open up these side panels right here, which will allow you to take this section of the leg and bring it down on that double hinge to extend it. And then you just bring it in and you got tabs and slots, tabs and slots. And all that will just lock into place like so. Once you've done that, you just flip out the robot mode toes. You flip in the monkey toes. And then just bring all this back here so you have a properly straight leg there. And there you have a leg all done. Second us, just like the first. Just extend all this down. Bring this out, flip that out, close it up. Take that panel, just whoop, push that in. And open, open, extend. Close that all back up. Flip out the toes. Flip in the monkey toes. And just orient the knee properly there. And there you have the legs all done. So at this point, we can take the uh, monkey belly here. You can see there's just this bit here. It just plugs in up in here. It doesn't hold securely, but it's it's there just to kind of, you know, a, a place for it to rest, I guess. But just bring up the monkey belly like this and just flip that down. And at this point, we will start working on, let me raise up a little bit because I need room to operate here. All right, so now let's get started with all this back here. So these panels back here, you just want to untab, bring out to the side, these side sections here, just untab those. They just tab into the side of the body, untab like that. You want to untab the monkey butt right there. There is a tab that just goes into that slot right there. And once you've done that, we can take the monkey butt and just bring it up. It's on a double hinge. So just bring that up like so. These panels here are on a double hinge. You just take them and they just collapse in like that. And compress all nicely. Like so, at this point we can just take the waist and rotate it around. Now, you can see he does have the shoulder cannons. You can leave them tucked in here for robot mode. If you don't want to have them deployed, totally up to you. You can leave them in there. But, to get the full effect here, we're just going to swing them out. Like so. And we're just going to leave that alone because now we have to work on the chest here and you can't work on the chest if you have the back section secured here so we need that space because we have to bring the monkey head all the way back as far as it'll go so we can take the chest section here and bring this forward and you're going to take this peck and this will just fold in like so and this peck will just rotate around like that 
and this panel will just fold in. And you take this whole assembly here and that just folds right into the chest like that. So once you have that done, we can now come up here to the monkey head and this will split like so. The back section here is on a double hinge. Just bring it back and down. Bring the monkey head down like so. That'll sit right there. Take the face, just bring it up, rotate it, bring it back down. And this section right here will just flip up and tab in right there. And there you have the chestial region all done. So once we've done that, now we can secure the backpack section here. So you just take these sections and they will just tuck in like so. And then you just push that all in like that. And there are tabs. You can see there are little tabs here that go into slots behind this neck piece right here. So get all that lined up as best you can. Usually I can do this pretty easily. There we go. There we go. That's tabbed in right there. And then these panels will just come in and tab in. Sometimes it'll be a little hard to find the slot. There we go. Let's bring that in. And that will tab into the other side, like so, to secure the backpack. This little panel here just tucks up. Everything just tucks up nice and neat-like. And there you have that all done. So now, last thing we have to do is, well, it's not the last thing we have to do, but we're getting there. We're on the home stretch. So last thing we're going to do as far as the upper body goes, or as far as the main body goes, rather, uh, we just want to take the shoulder pad, just bring that up. You want to take this red panel here and unpeg it, and this will allow this forearm section to collapse up like so. Then you just bring this up, and this will tab into the side of the elbow right there. And then you got that all done. Second last, just like the first. Just bring that up, unpeg, collapse, take that back in, and there you got that all done. And now the last thing we're going to do is you, you just want to take the uh, shoulder cannons here and just pull them up. This one's really tight on mine. There we go. Pull that up. Pull that up. And just bring those down over his shoulders. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Whee! We're done. And there you have Gorilla, a.k.a. Mr. Monkey Man, a.k.a. Optimus Primal in his robot mode and this is a really cool optimus primal i i really dig it i really dig the look of this very very cool in my opinion so let's get in close here oh that noggin there it is very nicely done head sculpt you do have transparent red plastic for the eyes for a specific reason we'll get into that in a little bit you got white there for the head crest white for the mouth plate and you have that gum metal gray in there for the mouth, you got silver and gold there for the horns. Of course, the side cannons there are done in white and red. Got a lot of nice detail here on the chest piece. Got the nice silver, gold, blues, reds. You got some trans clear and blue plastic up in there as well. White and red there for the biceps. Got silver abs, got a silver six pack. You can't beat a silver six-pack. You just can't. You just can't. I don't know how much you have to work out to get a silver six-pack, but that's that obviously takes some real devotion there. Anyway, <laughs> moving down the legs. Got the nice white and red. Got that gunmetal gray there for that detail in the knees. Again, stuff we already saw there. Like those nice inner workings, or outer workings rather, since they're on the outside. Nice silver for the toes. And going up the back, you can see it's a very clean transformation. Not a whole lot back here. Very nicely done. Very, very nicely done. Now, articulation-wise, the head can rotate into a full 360. Can look up, so you can totally squirrel. 
definitely do that. Can look down. You also get side to side movement. It's not on a ball joint. It's just a hinge that moves up and down and a hinge that moves from side to side there. So you get some wiggly waggly. I'm the monkey man. What you going to do? I'm the monkey man. You can do that. You can angle these cannons however you wish. And they can also, you know, rotate out if you need them to. Arms. Full 360. In and out again, you have that joint which allows the arms, the shoulders to move forward. You do have a bicep swivel. You get 90 degrees of a bend at the elbow. You have wrist rotation. Uh, you also have an inward hinge on the wrist here, which is nice, as well as a downward hinge for the uh, for sword holding poses, which is quite, quite nice. Uh, the hands are nice and articulated. The thumb is on a ball joint at the base and a hinge there. The first two fingers are separate pieces, which are on a hinge there, a hinge there, and a hinge there. And the other two fingers are just molded together with one hinge at the center there. So you got that going on. Uh, you do have waist rotation as well as an ab crunch, a ratcheted ab crunch. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward. Can do the full splits. You got a little bit of thigh rotation, not a lot, a little bit of thigh rotation. You do have a double jointed knee, which gives you a nice range of movements there. And the feet can move up, they can move down. You got your tiltage, and you do have a toe joint here that does move up a bit and down a lot due to transformation. So quite, quite poseable. Now, of course, you can give him his swords, and we'll show off the uh, storage first because now the storage will actually work. And you can see, you can plug these swords onto the back here and they will hold nice and securely now. So that is how these swords store there in robot mode. But of course, a warrior should be holding his weapons. So we'll just open up his hands and you can see it's just a peg that will plug into the port in his hands. Like so, wrap his fingers around it and he does hold that nice and securely and with that hinge there you can actually get some pretty good sword pointing poses, which is quite cool. I like that. I like that very, very much. So we'll just give him the swords. There you go. Battle monkey, ready for action. That's right. That's right. I put this one in backwards. That one, that one's backwards. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Battle monkey doesn't hold his sword backwards. No, Battle Monkey doesn't do that. Battle Monkey holds his sword with the sharp side facing the enemy. There you go. Battle Monkey is now ready for action. Now, you do have options as far as the swords go. If you don't want this configuration here, you get this bit right here. And what this allows you to do is you can take the blades off of the swords here. You can plug them on. You can see the... Uh, the slot is a specific shape there. So make sure you match that up. And you can plug the blades into this. Oops, I had it upside down. Why do I keep doing that? Anyway, so you have a cool double bladed weapon there and that's pretty freaking awesome. And you can have the monkey warrior here wielding that. And that is quite cool. I really dig that. That is awesome. That is awesome right there. That's cool. That's cool. I like it. I like it very much. And the last accessory that is included is a full-on mouth plate here for robot mode. Just done in white. And this just swaps out very easily. You just bring his head up. Just get under his chin here. And just... Untab that, and then you just tab on the new mouth plate, like so. There you go. There you have Prime with the full-on mouth plate, if you wish. So, you got options there, and as always, options are good. And the last feature on this figure is a light-up feature. There is a uh, button right here on the back of his head, and when you push it, woo, his eyes light up. A nice bright red, which looks quite, quite cool. 
So yeah. Battle Monkey Man with his glowing red eyes. Ready to deal out some murder justice. Quite awesome. Quite, quite awesome. <laughs> so there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with the masterpiece Optimus Primal. So you can see how they scale with one another. Here he is with the original Beast Wars Optimus Primal. Here it is with the Generation Toys IDW Optimus Prime. I guess you can see how they scale together. Just because here it is with Perfect Effects Beast Gorira. Just so you can see how those two scale with one another. And last but not least, here it is with MP done. So, there you go. So there you have a Generation Toys Gorilla. Um, a very nicely done figure in my opinion. Now one thing I, I will speak about as far as the quality of this figure goes, um, the plastic does feel a little lesser quality than what uh, Generation Toy usually puts out, but by no means does it feel fragile in any way. I've seen people go, oh my god, I have to be so careful with this thing, I feel like it's going to crumble in my hands, and no. I've been manhandling this figure all weekend, and I don't have so much as a stress mark, so I think it'll hold up. You know, I, I've had no instances whatsoever of feeling like, oh, I need to be careful with this. Like, I've been manhandling it, and it's been fine so far. So, despite the plastic feeling a little lesser quality than what they usually put out, it, it still feels sturdy to me anyway. But yeah, awesome figure in my opinion. I, I really dig it. So there you go. So if you would like this or any other Generation Toy products, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Generation Toy Gorilla, and this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! The time is now, prime years. No. Hey, wait. <clears throat> Why does that always happen? Hey, wait, where are you going? Back to the gym. Apparently I need to work out some more.